Hello, this is the voice of Dylan Flynn. Hi, this is the voice of Trevor Ickrath. And you're listening to Wordle with Friends, the show where two friends do the Wordle. That's right. What day is it today? Is it is it Thursday again? I feel really thrown off today because I, I got off vacation and went back to work in the middle of the week, which, you know, always screws up my own little personal calendar. But it feels like a Thursday. It's a Thursday, and I'm feeling a certain sort of way, too, Trevor. I had, a, I, I wouldn't call it a near-death experience last night, but I definitely had a moment where I'm like, I wonder if I'm going to die right now. Yeah, is that why you were listening to the soundtrack for the uh, long-forgotten but quite underrated PlayStation 1 game, Croc, last night? Yeah, I just wanted to feel alive by listening to those surprisingly good songs. That'll do it. Any interest in hearing about how I almost died, or should we just go ahead and move on? Yeah, Clarissa, explain it all. Okay, so I was uh, eating this, I should note, extremely delicious Chinese soup. Yeah, that's my favorite kind of Chinese soup. And I took a large gulp of the broth, and it went down my windpipe, which, you know, it happens occasionally when you're drinking something, and you cough, and it's a bummer. Sure. After coughing, I realized that my air flow was not opening back up, and I, I could only breathe by making this really terrible noise, which I'm hesitant to do on the mic, because it's so unpleasant, but I'm going to try anyway. Okay. It sort of sounded like this. <gasps> Like that? (laughs) That sounded quite unpleasant. Yeah, and I just had to do it over and over again, so I stumble outside so that at least the air that I'm breathing in is, like, cool air. Mm -hmm. And I knew that as long as I was making that noise, I was getting air into my lungs. Yeah. So I just tried to focus on not panicking through it. Mm -hmm. But it did alert my significant other and my child who were upstairs, like, getting ready for bed, and they sort of came down and were hovering around me sort of waiting for me to die while I just sort of like willed my airway to open back up and it eventually did and I was okay for it quite the harrowing tale indeed I'm glad you're okay thanks bud uh today is Thursday June 2nd 2022 and Trevor and I are about to attempt to solve wordle number 348 so this is your warning to turn back now if you've not yet done today's puzzle, as there will be spoilers ahead. Good thing you survived your incident yesterday, because if you didn't, there would be no one here to go first on today's game. Mmm, interesting choice of words, Trevor. My opening word today comes courtesy of TikTok user at SushiLord715 and is dedicated to all of our TikTok followers, particularly those of you who are prone to leaving a comment on the TikTok uploads. We love those. Do you think that guy's really the lord of sushi, though? Well, he's one of 715 of them. I don't know how TikTok vets that kind of thing. And I got one yellow letter for playing the word first. First. In honor of Firsty Thursday. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, I feel like it's probably that I. Might be the S. All right, I got a good one. Most of the letters are here, but in different places. All right. Ooh. I got two green letters from playing the word shirt. Wow. So then it's got to be the S and the H. Yeah, I guess it does have to be that, doesn't it? Always the peril of playing a word with a lot of letters in common with the one that the other guy just played, I guess. I'm going to play this word then, not thinking too hard about it. Okay. Seems like it'd be legal. And I got two green letters for playing the word shape. Like your favorite Ed Sheeran song, The Shape of You. I'm in love with the... Two green letters. We're running out of vowels to put in this thing. No A and E, you know? Like most limited cable packages, no A and E. Call your provider. Say, hey, I gotta see what's on that. What's on there? Oh, better call Saul. I don't really watch television. I stick more to films, which I consider to be, you know, a more intellectual form of visual media. I'm personally more of a reader. Mm. I suppose it could be this word, but it could also be another one. I guess I also am looking at two possibilities. I don't feel strongly about either of them. Yeah, me neither. Could go either way on this one. I'm just going to play the first one that I thought of. Okay. Damn. It was not that word. I played uh, shock. Huh. And I ended up with three green letters. Three green letters. Well, that works with mine. But now it, it also doesn't rule out either of the two I'm looking at. I don't know. These are both dumb words that I don't like. So you pick. Am I going to play the one that ends with an N or a Y? I don't know. Go for the Y. All right. I feel like we've been getting a bunch of those lately. Let's do it. And I got five green letters. That was a bad thing that I did having you pick. Was it? Yeah, because now you got it. 
I, I guess, but if you had if you hadn't had me pick, you might have chosen the other one. I guess that's true, and you wouldn't have gotten it. But you wouldn't have known. I could have just picked on my own. I guess that's true. You know, I might have eked out a victory or something. I don't know what this word is. There is one word that I can think of. This just doesn't seem like it would be the word. I guess I should probably just do it though, right? Yeah, unless you're off on some weird limb. I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're doing. All right. Yeah, the word was showy. Yeah, I don't know about that, right? Yeah, feels like a really weak, flimsy one. It feels like if you're pulling the word showy in conversation, it's for want of a better word. Yeah, exactly. I'll give you some examples. What about ostentatious? That's a good one. Yeah, I mean, but I could see if somebody doesn't maybe have like a dictionary or thesaurus on hand, I could see them going for showy instead. Yeah, for sure. Flamboyant. Mm -hmm. That would also be another good adjective for today's solve. Look at you doing jazz fingers and saying, ta-da, that's so garish of you. There you go. That's, that's another one that you could potentially say instead of showy. If you've got any adjectives for the word or any word that you want to send us, any words in particular, maybe you could string them together to form a sentence. You could send us those at wordlefriends at gmail.com. You could also find our show on TikTok or Twitter by searching Wordle Friends, and you can find the full-length version of the show on youtube or the podcasting platform of your choice by searching wordle with friends and if you do any of that stuff why don't you leave us a uh, a tiktok comment or a youtube comment or a podcast review or you know just subscribe to the show wherever you can do it give us a follow we love that kind of stuff but until next time i have been the soup conqueror dylan flynn i have been someone who may go eat some soup right now because that sounds pretty okay <laughs> trevor Aikrath. And we'll see you back here tomorrow, as long as Trevor doesn't choke on that soup, on the show where friend is a five-letter word. This has been a production of The Lighthouse Keeper's Company. Culture illuminated.